Ay, salavum, salavum. We have Bosnia Shai, Bosnia Shai, Bosnia Shai, Bosnia Shai, Bosnia Shai, Bosnia all right, to the nation of Israel, the hope we like. Mm -hmm. All right, giving all praise to you, how about you? Yeah, shy, kind double one, sell apostles, great millstone, we rule well. Mm -hmm. I said the scriptures, peace, love, and blessings also. All right, to you, since the lady reached brothers on the highways and the byways, giving all diligence to make the calling like you should, and also blessings to the few uh, sisters out there listening, learning, believing. All right, I'm the Philip Serpent Kanaka. I got the brother, call me a shala, call me a shala. We come at you once again, GMS Temple Bay 12. All right, and uh, Los Wolves lesson is edifying. The title of this lesson will be, uh, them ships going to show up, man. All right, just meditating on that. You know, because that's really all we're waiting on. All right, uh, of course, the, uh, the the main prophecies for uh, that to, uh, to happen, all right, uh, was RFID chip being um, made mandatory, all right, and also um, World War Three. But after those two prophecies take place, which should be the, the, the seventh trump or the last plague, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to come in the midst yeah. of all these things, man. Um, matter of fact, you can get that real fast where it says, um, was it uh, Luke 12? Mm -hmm. Where it say, uh, what it be if not already kindled? Oh, okay. If you, I got you. If you don't know what's happening, look at I got you. Yeah, so, you know, in the midst of, of, of the Third World's War and all this silver unrest, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to make his uh, grand appearance. St. Luke chapter 12 and verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, mm -hmm. and what will I if it be already kindled? Yes, sir. So Yahweh Shai is coming to send pot, uh, fire on earth, and he said, what will I if, if, if it not be already uh, kindled? Okay, so all hell is going to be breaking loose before Yahweh Shai appears, the, then he himself is coming with, with fire, yeah. all right? Because the Heavenly Father, as we all know, the Heavenly Father will control those missiles, and Yahweh Shai coming with those chariots, man. To, to uh, uh, beat nations to powder, man. All right, it says uh, in the book of Second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter. You have something? Yeah, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Isaiah sixty-six, because uh, like you said, the fire, man. Yahweh Shai is the Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is that consuming fire. But what ultimately what that fire is the is the uh, cleansing agent, man. Uh -huh. So the ultimate cleansing is going to come by the way of Yahweh Shai returning. Okay, to put down all what the scriptures say, they shall not learn war anymore. Okay, to put that the scriptures say in uh, Second Ezra, the uh, wickedness is sealed up, man. Okay, so the, the time for 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 uh, uh for shit to get cleaned out is is, is Yahweh Shai, man. He's the ultimate purifier, purifier under Yahweh, man. So that's what he's coming to do, man. To be the ultimate fire extinguisher, man. You see, to put out the fire, man. Okay, by just his presence with the the the, the, the holy angels, man. Okay, real quick, Isaiah sixty six. Just one precept, right to the point. Isaiah sixty six and verse uh, sixteen. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, so by fire and by the sword, which ultimately what? It's going to be that chariot, uh, the, the beam coming out of the chariot, man. Which is what? Nothing but a, a, a concentrated fire, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? So once them ships show up, man, okay? Hey, bro, they're going to do their job, man. They gonna, the job is going to get done, man. And that's going to be to cleanse this place of all this fear. Hey, that's why uh, in Revelations it says what? Uh, the lake of fire, man. So this place has to be cleansed of all uh, LGBTQs. It has to be cleansed of all uh, uh, homophobic uh, uh, activity. Okay. All right. A uh, lies, deception, gross darkness. Okay. All right. And evil, wickedness. It has to be a uh, 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 purified, man. You see? And the Lord is going to come with that fire to pretty much put it all, uh, uh, put it down, man. All right. That's it. Luke 21. Con. 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 Sing Luke 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon mm -hmm. and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations. Yeah, and upon the earth, the stress of nations. And just throughout these last couple of years, man, we having all kind of uh, blood moons, eclipses, and so on and so forth. All right. And then also the chariots themselves appearing up in the heavens, man. Right. Okay. And then what it said about the nations, it's like it. Con. It says, um, and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress upon nations. Mm -hmm. The stress upon nations. And you see that right now at all time high, man. All right. With these certain mandates being pushed. All right. Uh, you, you, you're, you're putting the, this uh, uh, ruling, uh, the secret government, shadow government elites are pushing these people backs against the wall. All right. So that uh, uh, the stress among the nations, man. Okay. By these unrighteous decrees being pushed. And, and we're living in those times right now. So if we're living in those times right now, continue reading on. You know, this is all leading up to something, man. Okay? Con. 
with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, mm -hmm. man's hearts filling them for fear. Man's hearts filling them for fear because we're coming to some uh, fearful times, sometimes that uh, you can't uh, prepare for. The spirit just got to be with you. The scripture says it's going to be a time like no other. Okay? Uh, 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 dark times, man, uh, uh, that you can't compare in history, you know, because we run into people, oh, I, I was in the, uh, the Marines for this amount of years, in the Army for this amount of years. I've seen war. I've seen people uh, uh, lose lives. I, I, I live during the Depression, or I live through this time. I live through, I've been through some hard times. You know, everybody got that story about the hard times they've been through. But the times we're coming in the scriptures say men's hearts fell in, fell in them with fear. All right, so we're, we're coming into a time where the, the king of terrors is, is getting ready to visit this, this, this planet, man. Okay? Con, it says, man starts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which come upon the earth. Mm -hmm. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, these rule, uh, the ruling class elites, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The powers of, of these heavens shall be shaken because they're the ones so-called pulling the strings and orchestrating this chaos. Ultimately, it's the Heavenly Father, but they're the ones that, that uh, uh, he's using to orchestrate this chaos. But it's going to come a time where the Lord is going to take over as uh, El Yashwam, like you say, the Lord is going to snatch, uh, uh, stop the control out of his hand. Okay? So there are, yes, so all these uh, famines are, are man-made, are, 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 are controlled. All right? All the chaos is just, uh, being caused. All these things is being controlled by the, the rulers of, of this current world, okay? Which would be the, the super rich elites. Go ahead. Can I got something for you real quick. Isaiah 2 and 19, and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for the fear of the Lord. Yep, and that's talking about the super rich elites. They shall go into the, uh, let's say the holes, mm -hmm. the holes of the earth. The holes of the rocks. Yeah. All the rocks and the, the caves of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about those bonkers, man, mm -hmm. to try to escape these things, man, because here it is, they're the one bringing on this uh, uh, this terror or orchestrating all this chaos, all right, but it's gonna come a time where it's, the Lord is just gonna completely just grab the steering wheel, which he's, he still has it now, but the Lord's just gonna grab the, the steering wheel, man, and it, it's gonna be things happening that that's, that that's gonna have them shaking in their boots, man, okay? Con, it says, and for the glory of his majesty, yep. when he ariseth, to shake terribly the earth. Yep, so he's gonna rise and shake terribly the earth. So the rulers of this world, all right, they're gonna be held accountable, so they're gonna try to hide mm -hmm. from Yahweh Shai, man, when he uh, returns, okay? Uh, finishing off verse 26, St. Luke 21 and 26. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, mm -hmm. and the and they shall and then shall they see the Son of Man. And then shall they see the Son of Man. So, all this uh, chaos being orchestrated, it's it, once again, uh, as was mentioned earlier, it's a lead up, all right, to the, the kingdom of of Yahweh Shai, man, the birth, if you will, of, of the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, man. That's why the parable uh, is like in um, the times of trouble. In the tribulation, if you will, in uh, the chaos, as a, a parable, as a woman uh, giving birth in that um, mm -hmm. that ninth month. All right, go ahead. Con. Uh, verse continuing on, it says, "And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud, with power and great glory." Mm -hmm. And that's the point. Mm -hmm. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. All right, that cloud is, is those ships, man. What they call UFOs, the chariots of Israel, man. The vehicles of the heavenly hosts, all right? The vehicles that they travel in, what you call UFOs. Then shall you see the Son of Man, son of man coming in clouds with power, all right? Well, he shall will not meet thee as a man with power and great glory, man. So it's going to be a glorious uh, a sight to behold at the same time, all right, as, as it is dreadful, okay? And we're going to feel like it. Then we're, we're going to be rejoicing, man, all right? Because that's our salvation up out of this hellhole. That's our, that's our salvation, a part of this chaos that's going to be uh, taking place in the midst of this uh, deliverance, right? Okay? That's right. Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And this is going to happen in your lifetime, all right? Well, you're going to look up one day, and you're going to see the, the sky filled with uh, so-called spaceships, man. Alien, right. so-called alien spacecraft. Yeah. Okay? This, this is going to happen in your time. Those ships are going to show up, man, right. in your lifetime. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. yeah, yeah, and that's when you people are going to wake up off, uh, off of that Babylonian juice, come out of that uh, illusion that you're in, from uh, pretty much seeing us wa uh, walking, all right, uh, prophesying, preaching, okay, teaching the words of Yah, Bas, and Yahweh Shai, and you thinking it's in vain. That's when you're going to actually understand the whole purpose of us out there being there, man. Being out there, man. Yeah. Okay, to prophesy this time, so that when it comes, then you're going to wake up off of that Babylonian juice and try to uh, call on the names that were once uh, uh, called on by the man that was out there teaching, okay? And what the Lord is going to say, I, I have not known you, man. And you're going to get a what? Are you going to get concentrated fire, man, put on you, man, so that you can be purified because the whole time the Lord rejected you because you were filthy. And you didn't want to come out of your filth, man. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, 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 who is blind but my servant? But what? Isaiah, uh, one of our forefathers, one of the uh, uh, prophets before us, he said, what? Pour upon him the spirit of deep sleep, man. But you people going to wake up out of that deep sleep when you see these ships coming, man. You're going to be like, damn, I remember the man of the Lord who was out there that was prophesying and saying these, these things are going to happen, holding the signs. That's going to be the only thing you can remember in that time. The Lord is going to have that playback on your mind, man. And then shall what? They know that a prophet was among them, man. Huh? Now, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall, shall wail, wail because of him, even so. Amen. Exactly. All kindreds of the earth shall wail be because of him. So all the families, all the tribes, all right, going to all the tribes of the earth, all the different families, all the nations of the earth shall wail because of the Lord, man, when they see him. Okay? Because they already, you already know. You you know, everybody going to know who who it is. They might not know his name, but everybody going to know exactly yeah. who that is when they look up and they, they, they see that ship. You, yeah. You're going to already know. All right, it's 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 gonna bear witness with your spirit who that is, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and you you could just gonna be howling and, and 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 wailing, man. All right, two thirds of our own people as well. Okay, so that those ships are gonna show up. All right, and that's why that's why we out here. Why you think we doing videos? Why why you think we going on highways and byways? Because we know those ships are gonna show up, man. And these super rich elites, they know as well too. But we we know for a fact, man, that those ships are gonna show up. All right, and we're looking for uh, what the scripts say, um, roughly paraphrasing, do all we can so we can be found worthy to stand, all right, in the presence of, of, of the of the sun, man. Yeah. So we can we can lift up our heads, man, and uh, have the expectation of salvation, man. That's right. Okay? Yep. Isaiah 31, verse 5, as birds fly, so will the Lord, Yahweh, by some of host, defend Jerusalem. Yes, sir. So it, it, he's going to come in, man. Swift. You know, who is this that that you know that cometh from Basra, man? Don't come in swift, man. All right, it, it's 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 a mission to uh, uh, deliver the elect of his people and to destroy all the wicked, man. Okay, yeah. it's it's a mission, man. He's he's coming in. He's gonna he's gonna execute everything precisely with precision, perfectly. All right, go ahead. Defending also, he will deliver it. Yep. So defending and, and delivering. All right, so this is going to be that great deliverance of you. Uh, you hold that, but next, uh, get that in Jeremiah. Uh, a greater deliverance. Oh, Con, 16. Con, 16, yep. Con. Go ahead. It says, in passing over, he will preserve it. In passing over, he will deserve it. All right, that holy city. All right, Con. Jerusalem. All right, that he, uh, the, the man that he has tried unto himself, man, and have made them perfect. Yeah, because what? In Zechariah the 13, what's going on? Zechariah the 13th chapter says, they shall call upon me. All right? All right? And I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people. Mm -hmm. And they shall say, yeah, how about you? It's my power. Why? Because we're going to be going through that uh, that fiery furnace, man. You see? We're going to be in a, in a bro, we're not going to be, bro, we're going to be right here in the fight with you niggas, man. But see, the Lord is going to uh, preserve certain mm -hmm. men and their women and their children that from that ultimate fire that the Lord is bringing, man. That's that mercy. That's the smile that the brother was talking about earlier when he was, you know, in the car, man. The brother said, man, you know, I'm hoping for you, how when he see me, to crack a smile, man. You know, at me, man. And, and that's what the elect want, man. We desire to see the mercy of the Lord, man. We don't want the Lord to look at us and, and, and have a... Once that beam come over you, you don't want that to be a beam of your destruction, but a beam of your salvation, man. A beam of your deliverance. A beam of you being passed over because the blood was on your dope post, man. You see, spiritually, man. You see, because we know what's coming down the pipe, man. It's you regular peons out here, man, that are oblivious to the fact that an Esau, even a so-called white man, is setting you up to fall right with him, man. And you're joining hand in hand with him, and you're gonna taste of that fire just with him, man. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the that's 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 the icing on the cake, man. All right, yep. just go. What's that matter of fact? Can I get that real quick, yeah, bro? Revelation 14. I get it for you. Uh, Revelation 14 and 9. 14 and 9. Yeah, come. Yeah. Everybody that's gonna be with this man, hey, bro, look. If you with this man's system, you're gonna taste of that fire, man. 
The Lord is not fucking playing games with you people, bro. Okay? Yeah, we do these lessons, you know, because we love teaching the words of Yahweh Shem Yishai. But it's coming to time where we're not going to be fucking teaching no more, man. You people are going to have to deal with the fact that the Lord is visiting you for your wickedness, man. For your filth, man. You see? Because, bro, majority of the people that, that think we a joke is our own family, man. Our own people. So when them ships show up, then you're going to know, damn, that's why he was so diligent. That's yep. why he gave his life over to this truth. That's why he became Kanak rather than Nicholas, he man. He saw this thing. He's seen it yep. all this time. This is, damn, he's seen this when he was, you know, 10 years ago, man. Okay, all that's going to be played out in your life in one day, man. You got it up. Chapter 14 and 9. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, book of Revelation 14 and 9. says, And the third angel followed them, mm -hmm. saying with a loud voice, mm -hmm. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, mm -hmm. which is poured out without mixture mm -hmm. into the cup of his indignation, mm -hmm. and shall be tormented with fire Wait, and what? brimstone. Wait, what? And shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With fire and brimstone, man. So you, you're going to have to taste of the missiles, and you're going to have to taste of the chariots that you have Bashmi Al is coming back with, man. And, and who's going to be in the midst? Well, the consuming fire himself, Yahweh, Bashmi Al is his name. The, the father of hosts, man. The heavenly father who's where any trouble or any chaos or any uh, uh, evil is done in the city, he's in a mess. He's the one that caused it, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So when that ultimate fire and brimstone come, you're going to have to partake in that, my man. Because you thought the heavenly father was a was a joke, man. you taking mm -hmm. this time of liberty and you using your uh, you using the time of liberty as a, a cloak of maliciousness, man. Okay? you thinking just because you know the truth and you know his name that you good. Nah, man. You don't really fear the Lord. So once these ships co uh, show up, they're going to do the separation, man. They're going to do the dividing, man. Between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth them not, man. You got something you want to get? Uh, I ain't got nothing. Uh, yeah, finish finish off on okay. uh, the last precept. Okay, come on. And you get uh, Jeremiah. Uh, I got you right here. 16. Go come ahead. On. Jeremiah 16. That was it on uh, the last precept I had. Okay, all right. Jeremiah 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord. So behold. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> behold these days, man. All right, go ahead. Con, therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord. That and we in those days. All right. Why do you think the uh, uh, all this chaos is happening? You know, you people looking for a break. You people uh, looking for things to just go back to normal. But it's not. All right. One woe after another woe. One evil after another evil. All right. Uncertainty after uncertainty. Darkness after darkness. All right. No, no stability. All right, in, in, in your society in Babylon the Great. Why? Because we are in those days. Behold, all right, the days come. So we in those days. Go ahead. Con. Yeah, it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north mm -hmm. and from all the lands whither he have driven them. Yep. So the, uh, the Egyptian, uh, the exodus out of Egypt was a very great uh, 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 deliverance, man. But the scripture is saying that this deliverance that's about to take place through these uh, spaceships, so-called spaceships and chariots, all right, this deliverance is, is, is going to overshadow, all right, or outshine the deliverance that the Lord uh, did in Egypt, all right? So if you will, the Lord is going to uh, outdo the last, uh, uh, his last works. It's going to be greater works done, okay? So we, you know, we, it, it's going to be, it's going to be still recorded, but this deliverance is, is, is like, it's going to overshadow that you're, you're not even going to really mention the, 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 the last uh, exodus, all right? Because this one's just going to triumph, all right, the previous one. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says, and I will bring slop. And from all the lands where the he have driven them. Mm -hmm. so and we was, we've been scattered through all the, all the other lands, man. So all the lands where he have driven them. So it's going to be delivered. The, the main deliverance is going to take place over here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. But the Lord is going to deliver his saints, that, which are the Israelites, Israelite foreigners that scattered through all the other nations, man. Whatever continent you may be, if you believe in Yahweh, you have to be calling these names. Are you able to understand these, uh, uh, breakdowns. these breakdowns, these scriptures, and you believe, man? You're an Israelite, okay? No matter how you may look. So it's, it's a great deliverance coming out of all. That's what it means when it say out of all nations, all right? Because Israel has been scattered abroad throughout all nations, Uh Quick precept, James 1 and 1. Okay, go ahead. Con. It says, I will bring them again 
into their land. So again, so that means we were once, so the, the, that's a cut. So the ones that were scattered throughout all the other lands, that means they were once in, in that land already. So he said, I will bring them again. All right. So if you was never, if, if that land was never appointed onto you, as he gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if that land was never appointed onto you, how can he bring you again back onto that land? Mm -hmm. All right, so let you know that deliverance is coming from, for Israel, man. Go ahead. Con, it says that I gave unto their fathers. Uh-huh. About verse 16. Oh, I see. This is... No, that, that's it. Yeah, but we're going to be a gallant, man. Mm -hmm. From all the nations. Bottom ships, man. Yep. You know, that's the point, man. You people think we, we loony, you know, our, our father, you know, our dad, you know, our family members, loved ones. I think we loony because we're telling you that salvation, like we was talking about in the car, we're telling you the kingdom is for you and you want to put us down, man. We're telling you, Yahweh Shem Shai coming back to redeem us from the hands of our enemies, from the man who called you black, who said you were spit, who, who feeding you GMOs, well, your water's tapped, okay? Well, you're bound by, you bound by, you subject to payments when you own everything, man. When, when the world is yours, the world was created for you. We're telling you the Lord is getting ready to uh, uh, transfer the power and the condition of the earth into uh, your hands, okay, so that the earth can be uh, 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 restored and refreshed in righteousness. And, and you want to take us out, okay? But when these ships come, it's going to do justice, man. Going to get rid of you niggas, okay, and, and save the elect, man. And you're going to come back through the loins of the elect, man. Simple as that, man. Okay. Hey. No more to be said, man. Them ships, them ships going to show up, Yes, man. sir. All right, and that's what we're waiting on. Every every day we're getting closer. That's mm -hmm. that's exactly what we're waiting on for you. How I to come back as Elder Gabar did a beautiful lesson to liberate us, man, mm -hmm. to give us power. All right, to to uh, get a get a, get us about this lower state. Get us get us about this filth. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's all gonna happen through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimei mm -hmm. So with that, you know, Lord's so willing, is that fine? Right. The next time, giving all praises to Yahweh Shimei Yahushai by Shimei Kadash. That one sell Apostle Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, love, and blessings also to you bros out there looking for a hasten to the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Shalom.